I'm Kate. And I'm Hannah, and we are Charles Stead. We are delighted to be back filming for the Sheer Luck Show. Today, we are going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to styling your inbuilt shelving. We get asked all the time by clients to help them style these spaces. Shelf styling can be one of the trickiest things to master, but with a few key tips, you can style your shelves like a pro. So when we style our shelves, we work with a shopping list containing five key categories. We use books, greenery, pots and vases, decorative objects, and photographs and artwork. With pieces from these categories, you cannot go wrong and your shelves will look amazing. Clear your shelves down so you start with a completely blank canvas and you can see exactly where you're going to want to place things. So using our categories in the shopping list we gave earlier on in the film, group together your items that you have chosen. So it might be that you've got sentimental photographs, some artwork that you've collected, objects and accessories that you have collected on your holidays or travel, some special pieces that you want to display, maybe a favourite vase or pot. Group them all together in size and category and then you can really stand back and see which pieces you want to include and how the colour scheme might all come together as well. We always start with books. Books are a great way to ground and balance your scheme so that you can create a basis on which to place other objects and pieces. Whether you're styling your shelves with a double width unit like this or a single width unit, we always place our books in a zigzag formation like this. And we tend to keep books of the same color together and then you can just play around with them on the shelf and just see which way you prefer. If you were styling your shelf with just a single width unit, you would create the same zigzag formation, but just on the different shelves below. So we place artwork in spaces that don't have the books to add interest and height. We've just used these simple box frames here, just in the gaps, as you can see, and one a little bit higher. And these just add a background as well to any objects that you will be placing. When using vases and pots, we like to incorporate lots of different shapes and textures, but the tone is quite consistent. In this scheme, we have kept it quite earthy, which is really on trend at the moment. So lots of kind of browns and rich colors. And they just look super natural and just really, really pretty. So using items with different height, some detailed lids, and you can group them together and then stand back and just take a look. And you can always move things to different sections if you feel it's not working. We like to mix ceramic with wood, with paper mache, and then items that have got kind of texture and different shapes really do just add lots of interest to the scheme. Greenery grounds the scheme, it adds a pop of colour and you can use different styles. So we've got a fern here with the long leaves and then we've just decided to use just a simple potted echeveria. So still green but just a slightly different shape and it just, as you can see, just lifts the design. Decorative objects just add another layer of interest. So something like these beads look super, just trailed over the edge of a bowl or a dish. 
You can also incorporate sculptural pieces and just add extra layers. Once you've placed all of your items on the shelves, stand back and take a look at whether or not you're happy with where you've placed everything. It might be that the vase you put on the top shelf would look better somewhere else. And actually, just play around, have fun, and move your pieces until you're happy. What is really important is to make sure that none of your categories are clustered together. So for instance here, we've got our piece of greenery and what we wouldn't do is then place another piece of greenery on the shelf below or above. We've mixed it up here with books and a pot on this shelf and greenery on the next. We hope these tips have been helpful and will help you create a beautiful shelf at home. Get styling and have fun!